1v1, green tooth gorge, blue side. We have silver wolf as the force commander. Offensive melee hero can buff his troops. Space marines start with scouts, light ranged infantry, very mobile, very good at capping. On the red side we have Mustafa as the chaos sorcerer. Offensive disruptive hero. Chaos start with heretics, light infantry start off in melee. Mustafa going for Chaos Space Marines to start off, heavy ranged infantry, though they are very good in melee for a ranged unit. Silver Wolf going for Loyalist Tactical Marines, heavy ranged infantry. Three VPs as always, one on the west side, natural for Silver Wolf, one in the center, capped by Chaos Space Marines, and we have one on the east side, natural for Mustafa. Chaos Sorcerer of course has the vestments of the warp war gear which grants him teleportation. I assume we will see it in this game since you rarely see the Chaos Sorcerer without it. Teleporting heroes do great on this map since you can traverse east to west very quickly and also teleport to structures to garrison them if you're in trouble and they are in very good positions as you can see covering power and VPs. But anyway, we have shotguns on the scouts very quickly. Chaos Space Marines forced off thanks to a shotgun blast. Another Chaos Space Marine squad on the field for Mustafa. Force Commander goes to engage. Tactical Marines engaging the Chaos Sorcerer. Doom Bolts of the Chaos Sorcerer is starting ability. Offensive spell. Unpredictive, unpredictable targeting though didn't really do much and Chaos Space Marines don't want to take losses so fall back good job by Silver Wolf with just two units able to get some early map control surprised we haven't seen another scout squad which I find pretty useful as Space Marines in 1v1 the mobility really helps early on Heretics going to cap this wreck point. Looks like Silver Wolf is pretty much ignoring the east side of the map early on. Now send him some scouts over. Good thing they have shotguns or they'd be in trouble if they run into heretics without a building nearby. Tactical Marines of course cap points 50% faster than any other unit in the game which makes up somewhat for them being very slow. Silver Wolf using the Blood Ravens colour scheme. Veterans of Aestas I think it's called or something like that. Giving the Force Commander that helmet. Mustafa going centre capping with Chaos Space Marines. We have Assault Marines hitting the field for Silver Wolf. Disruptive jump unit that fight in melee. Pretty tough. 1200 hit points across three models, as you can see. Mustafa has his vestments of the warp and his sword of flame. Another very popular war gear choice. Okay, so also really needs a change to his other armor, I think, to make it competitive. Special attack by the Chaos Sorcerer knocking back the Assault Marines. But he's taking quite a lot of damage here. No doubt will teleport out before he goes down. Or will he? Maybe he is preoccupied. No, he does teleport out and retreat. Civil Wolf now hitting Mustafa's natural power. Tactical Marines have their flame up. Suited fantastically well at taking down generators and also blocks of heretics. Heretics have their aspiring champion squad leader which is a Chaos Marine. See him there. Makes him a pretty decent melee unit in tier 1. Civil Wolf able to decap Mustafa's natural power setting back his economy. You see the power income reduced to just 19 for Mustafa. 
That was my phone. Apologies if you heard that noise. Silver Wolf retreats his tactical marines and his force commander. Job done. Force commander has his power sword. Great versus heavy infantry of the Kale Space Marines. Map control pretty even, slightly in favour of Mustafar 453 plays 429. Mustafar will get a 2 to 1 cap. R3 caps this Eastern VP. Tactical Wolf has the economic advantage right now. Goes tier 2. for deciding not to go for noise marines to try and hit silver wolf's power suppose he could just march the kel space marines over and he can shoot it to death monster for capping this wreck point with his sorcerer teleporting out power sword will be pretty nasty to these heretics takes one out with a sink kill now going for his armor of alacrity which makes him faster sorcerer in, in a bit of bother here surrounded by tons of units special attack knocks better on all back and he can teleport out heretics get away taking one loss perhaps more if the assault marines can get a melee attack they don't tactical marines take out the node after losing a model Girl space marines take out a gen now pull back instead of decapping. Maybe he feels Silver Wolf will be on the way soon, and he is. He's a full health Chaos Space Marine, so they aren't any pushover in melee. But the Assault Marines now have their Sergeant who gets a power sword. You see him at the front of the group there. We're losing Silver Wolf has the economic advantage in tier 2. Now has the map control so Tactical Marines decapping this wreck point which is fully matured for Mustafa. These Tactical Marines are going to take losses here. They have their sergeant but one member goes down a sink kill from the Kale Sorcerer. Silver Wolf either determined to cap this point or not noticing since he's engaged on this east side forcing off Mustafa's forces tactical marines do get away with the sergeant and one more member may see that flame up replaced with a plasma gun soon have another tactical marine squad on the way for Silver Wolf coming in now, dropping in. There we are. Tier 2 for Mustafa. Chaos, of course, considered to have a pretty strong tier 2. We'll see what he goes for. Doesn't have much power at the moment. 39 income. Has his natural back up to a decent level. Two gens. Chaos Space Marines taking the east side back. Chaos Sorcerer using his teleportation to float between this west side and the center. Indeed, we do have. Do we? No, I thought I saw a plasma gun there. Scouts don't want to get into melee with pretty much anything, especially a Chaos Sorcerer with Sword of Flame. He sees lots of stuff, so he teleports out. Center is decap. 374 plays 367. Mustafa's done a good job despite his economic troubles early on. Staying in this game. Very tight. Map control is pretty even. Mustafa now taking most of his forces to the west side trying to decap Silver Wolf's natural I imagine Silver Wolf not having any of it chasing both tactical marines have their sergeant and the second squad does indeed have a plasma gun good versus heavy infantry full retreat here by Mustafa apart from his commander who is going after 
this node. Sword of Flame does a pretty good job on it, as you can see. Power Sword Force Commander having a word. No accessory for each commander yet. Tactical Marines now working on Mustafa's natural power. He needs to defend. Indeed, his forces are on the way to do just that. Tactical Marines forced off. Just retreating. There's the shotgun blast. Doom blast goes off. Assault Marines can jump these Chaos Marines. There we go. And they decide to retreat. Looks like this gen farm is going down. Swinging in Silver Wolf's favour. He goes tier 3 now. Mustafa still yet to purchase anything in tier 2. Not sure why. He's floating loads of resources here, unless he's going for tier 3. He's going for a Dreadnought. Which is going to be pretty tough for Silver Wolf to deal with. I suppose he could get a missile on one of his tactical squads, or both of them, and he has melter bombs on the way. It's not that difficult. Civil full retreat after he took out this gen. Gale Space Marines recapping the east side and the center, and Sorcerer going to west. Force Commander's going to try and stop him. Heretic's coming to support, perhaps. 368 plays 243. Sorcerer teleports out after decapping. Force Commander goes to cap again. Going to get a 2 to 1 cap here. Civil hitting tier 3 right about now. Doesn't have the resources to buy anything. Also, doesn't have the zeal required for Terminators. Zeal is the red resource for. Space Marines. Here is the Chaos Dreadnought in its default form, which is with an auto cannon, which is nothing to stiff sniff at. He is getting Mark of Corn after making Silver Wars entire forces fall back. Mark of Corn turns it into a pretty fearsome melee warper. Force Commander is not in an engagement he's going to win, so falls back. Heretics can decap and perhaps cap this west side now. That Dreadnought has swung it slightly in Mustafa's favour. Silver Wolf going tier 3. Doesn't have much resources to counter it just yet. We do see a missile on the first Tactical Marine squad replacing their flamer. Tactical Marines of course very versatile. Can change their specialized weapon whenever they like that they must pay for it each time unlike commanders that can switch war gear for free once they've paid for it Chaos Space Marine is taking the east side 338 plays 243 where is that sorcerer? he's lurking around center heretics did manage to cap and now retreat Double cap for Mustafa. Plague Marines on the way for Mustafa. No vehicles yet for Silver Wolf. Perhaps he is expecting one. He, of course, won't know that Silver Wolf is in tier 3. The Mark of Corn Dreadnought working on. Silver Wolf's natural power is now engaged with melter bombs and missile attacks. This could be nasty. Blood Rage of Bleak is activated, making the Dreadnought even more fearsome in melee. Down to 591 HP. Will the Force Commander get away? Sprints away, but is taken out. Dreadnought is now idling. Chaos Space Marines decapping the east side with the help of Mustafa. Uses his group teleport. That is a global ability of the Chaos Sorcerer. Teleports all units to him. Fantastic use to get the Chaos Dreadnought out of trouble. 
you see the sacred standard on the back of the force commander buffing the damage of nearby units which increases when he's dead which is what that yellow circle is for plague marines engaging tactical marines plague marines are heavy infantry have a missile launcher very very tough and when they die they explode very very useful when we have a space marine predator on the field in its default form at the moment needs to be careful does not want to be caught in melee by the chaos dreadnought but it looks like Mustafa's playing it safe and pulling back probably the right idea chaos sorcerer goes down after teleporting not sure what got him scouts the cap center 229 plays 243 close match more plague marines on the way for Mustafa wants to get rid of that tank plague marine missiles of course snare vehicles also such a great unit. Silver Wolf again bashing Mustafa's power. I pr predict Mustafa will be staying in tier 2 for a while. Where are the heretics? Heretics on the way back to base, which will be able to repair that dreadnought. Looks like we are getting Zinch Marines twice, which will do pretty nasty damage at range against these space marines Adding support structure. map control pretty even so must have lost a generator two chaos space marine squads and two plague marines Dearly dallying on this east side, 2 to 1 cap for Silver Wolf. Dreadnought is being repaired. Sorcerer is still down, as is the Force Commander. That node won't last. We have the twin, link, twin linked last cannon for the Predator, making it very powerful against vehicles. Dreadnought is back to full HP and we have a huge engagement here Dreadnought a bit behind last cannon Predator takes out a Chaos Plague Marine we saw it explode healing nearby infantry and damaging nearby enemy infantry melt a bomb on the Chaos Dreadnought already down to almost half health Blood Rage is activated Stuff is going to die very, very fast. Civil War should be pulling back those Marines. One squad gets away with a single member. The other squad also gets away with a single member. Both squads lost their sergeants. That's a lot of reinforcing for Civil War to do. The Blood Rage Dreadnought now going after allied Plague Marines. Blood Rage Dreadnoughts, of course, you lose the control of them. This squad might go down here. It's going to be a big loss to Mustafa. But another fantastic use of the group teleport by Mustafa. Blood Rage, thankfully for him, wearing off. Plague Marines can retreat to base. Took so much damage there. Down to one member and two members. Pretty much won the engagement with the durability of those Plague Marines, I think. Chaos Sorcerer goes to the west side, decaps. 228 plays 148, very close. That was a good engagement for Mustafa. Force Commander still down, giving that buff to nearby infantry. Assault Squad lost their sergeant in that engagement. Did he use a drop pod to reinforce all that stuff? He might have. Though he still has 422 zeal, so I doubt it. All he needs now is a bunch of requisition and he can get terminators. Heretics repairing the level 2 Chaos Dreadnought now has 1300 HP. Mustafa comes to decap center. Not sure why those marines weren't doing it already. He's going to have a 2 to 1 cap here unless this tank can scare him off. Sword marines take the west side. 220 plays 148. Very close game. 
both players are floating tons of power here. Dual Plague Marines is bad news for that Predator. It's now snared as you can see by that red circle underneath it. If it turns they're going to get rear armor hits and it's going to go down. One more shot might do it. Plague Marines of course pretty slow having trouble getting into range for a shot. And it looks like it's going to get away too slow to reach it. This Plague Marine squad down to 600 health still have all four members though. Are they going to follow it into base? They might do. Scouts are a ways off on the East VP, which are the repair unit for Space Marines. Center is decapped. West will be red. Assault Marines level up to level 2. Took out a, another Plague Marine. Tank is now hiding behind this building. Most of us still hunting it. Needs to be careful. Doesn't want to lose these Plague Marines. Plague Marines here are jumped. Gonna get off a shot. Last Plague Marine member, and he takes out the tank and retreats. Determined tank hunt in there from Mustafa. Now has superior forces on the field and goes tier 3. Looking grim for Silver Wolf. He still doesn't have a reliable way to deal with the Chaos Dreadnought. Scouts have their sergeant. They're gonna take nasty, nasty melee damage in retreat or not. Chaos Dreadnought does not attack. So each space, Chaos Space Marines have their sergeant. One squad does anyway. Level 2, both of them. So they're doing some nasty range DPS. Metal Bomb goes off on the Blood Rage Chaos Dreadnought. Doesn't stop it entirely of course. Turns to engage the Assault Marines. Not sure what they were thinking there. Going to now really hurt this base. We have Last Cannon Devastators on the field for Civil Wolf, which will do very well against the Dreadnought if they can get the Dreadnought into the line of sight. They are now. Blood Rage has wore off, so Mustafa could try and pull it back. It's pretty much dead though. It will be snared by the Last Cannon and won't be able to get away. Meanwhile, Mustafa has used Group Teleport again to great effect. Combination of vestments of the warp and group teleport make you incredibly mobile. Has all three VPs now. 121 plays 103, has the map control, has the forces. Dreadnought saved. So it's going to be pretty tough for Silver Wolf to deal with most of us army combination. Army composition, sorry. Plague Marines back to full strength. No, they aren't. These ones have a member ready to reinforce, but they need to get to base. Both Sinch Marines have their Sergeant now, so they're to full strength at level 2. Scouts take the west side, there's a huge engagement here. Assault Marines don't have their Sergeant jump these Sinch Marines. Plague Marines in support, Mustafa pulling to the southwest. In comes the Chaos Dreadnought, the Salt Marines losing members like crazy. They might go down here, I think they will. And they do. Bad engagement for Silver Wolf. Last Cannon Devastator working on the Chaos Dreadnought. It's being repaired. 2 to 1 cap for Mustafa. Silver Wolf running out of VPs. Here is an orbital bombardment for Silver Wolf catching tons of stuff. This is going to be interesting see what dies, the blast pretty much forces them clear of the others, but that did a ton of damage, heretics wiped, Chaos Dreadnought goes down, we have the circle of summoning I think it's called, another global ability of the Chaos Sorcerer spawns bloodletters, just to keep Silver Wolf off that VP. 2 to 0 cap for Mustafa. Silver Wolf needs to cap now. Mustafa calls GG. Scouts taking east side. I don't think Silver Wolf will be able to stop this. Mustafa taking center. Scouts do cap the east side. It's a 2 to 1 cap. And he stops the counter at 2. Can he pull this off? Sorcerer going to have a word with these scouts. 
lost the indicator for him. There's Dark Flames. Another great global ability for the Chaos Sorcerer. Tactical Marines now taking center. Force Commander taking the west. Can he pull this off? Chaos Sorcerer, though, that decapped the east side. He needs to force off these Plague Marines. Plague Marines are taking the west side. This is so close. Must have a floating tons of resources not getting another unit where are the Zinch Marines? they are back at base really needs them on the field right now these Plague Marines are going to die and the VPs count to zero for Civil War valiant effort at the end great game thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time